look, we all know that there are bigger problems in the world. Sometimes it's just kind of fun to get the petty stuff off your chest so it doesn't eat you up and consume you. Or you can uh, relate. We can all hear what you're saying and go, yeah, I'm, I think oh, the same yeah. thing. I'm tired I'm not of that alone. Mm-hmm. Don't you always wonder, like, am I the only person that thinks this way? It's uh, validation. Like Larry David on Kirby Enthusiasm. Kevin loves it. I Ryan love loves it. it. Mm-hmm. I love it. And because I'm like, oh, I see a lot of... He makes sense. Yeah, a lot of his things. Some people don't like it. They think it's a little too dark or too uh, critical. But yeah, let's I start relate. with Caitlin. Hey, See Caitlin. Sick of. Welcome to the Rule and Ride Show on one hundred four point one KRBE. Good what morning, Caitlin. Hi, good morning. Yeah, late so, on us. My in-laws watch my daughter while we work, mm-hmm. and they, my mother-in-law specifically, wants my daughter to start going to daycare um, because she doesn't want to have to watch her all day every day anymore. And I was like, okay, like we can look into it, but in a couple of weeks, cause we're about to move into our first house and it's like a bunch of money that we're dropping. And she just keeps sending me like every day, sending me daycares that cost like $500 a week mm. and all this stuff. And I can't afford to just drop all this money right now to put my kid in daycare when they told me that they would watch now, her. Are you against it completely? Or are you just like, just for now, because we want to get our finances in order. Yeah, no, just for now. Like, that was the plan originally was eventually once we got settled and everything was to put her in daycare. But we're literally moving into a house this weekend, and we still have to buy a refrigerator and all these other things that are big expenses, and we're not rich. Does she, maybe she needs I an end game. Do you think Does she needs an end game? Like, a, a date, like mm-hmm. July. Oh. By the, yeah. Maybe that's what she wants. Her, Yeah, we told her that, like, a month after we move in and we get, like, two more paychecks in after dropping all this money that we would start, like, fully looking at it. And I've been looking at them, uh, but she wants my daughter to start daycare next week. Uh Back off, mother-in-law. Come on, mom. Yeah, and I'm like, I can't afford to do that. I just spent thousands of dollars to try and move. Shut up, mom! (laughs) (laughs) Come on, be a good grandma. That's your, that's your grand right, baby. Cut her some slack. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Let us know what happens, okay? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Who do you guys want to go to next? I don't have the screen in front of me right now. I know. Eric I'm is doing it yeah. now. Yeah. 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 We're we're this morning, so like, we got three things going plates here. Hey there. Hey, hey Mary. Mary. So what are you, what are you sick so of? sick of? Say again? What are you sick of? I am a small business owner, and I am sick of employees leaving the job without giving a two weeks notice yeah, that's or sucks. even a notice at all. Just leaving. Ghosting. Wow. Just ghosting you. What you, line of work uh, is it? Hanging. Say again? What line of work is it? We have a family entertainment business. Mm-hmm. So we cater to, to children and their parents and birthday parties and all that kind of so thing. That means your your uh, workers are a lot probably younger, right? They're under they're like 18 yeah, year old, well, 17, and they don't understand how the world not works. Not my managers. Not my managers. Really? They are full grown adults. And, and, you know, we treat our employees very well. And we're all a big family. And I think it comes down to the fact that they get scared to be honest. And mm-hmm. honesty is the best policy. Like, in what way? Give me an example. Yeah, like, why that? would they be afraid mm-hmm. to be honest to you? I think they don't want to to be seen in a bad light. But I mean, give I me a specific me example. To... Like, a, what is it like that you're encountering that they're holding um, back? Let's see. Um, well, they'll say, "Oh, I, I, I'm kind of looking at you know maybe getting another job," and we say, "Great, that's awesome. I'm glad you're you're moving on to something that you really love." And then you know they'll still be with us, and well. Well, um, I, I think I'm going to take this other part time during the week. Okay, great. That's wonderful. Good for you. And then they don't say that. Well, they can't pick up the rest of their job that they're already doing, and that they're going to stop doing that part of the job. They just stop doing it. Mm, yeah, and then okay. all of a sudden, you're like, "Well, yeah. weren't you my manager for this? Yeah, you're supposed to be the manager." But you're, you're not doing this anymore. So are you looking for so, people right now? Are you looking for someone to, are you looking for a manager? Uh, absolutely. Well, give us, what are you, what are you yeah. looking for? What's your business called? Solve some problems here. I, it, it's Rainbow Roller Rink in Conroe, Texas. And man, I'm looking for someone who wants to 
be involved and and find some good, happy place to work and make this business better with us. That is a fun place. I've been out there. My, my, I've got oh, nephews. Out. Yeah, my nephew had a birthday party out there. Do you, um, how do they reach you? Do you want them to just call the... They just call us call, call or you. email us. What's it's all email? on the website. It's all there? All right. Perfect. Yep. There Rainbow Roller Rink at gmail.com. Easy enough, man. Yep. I am looking for happy people. There you go. That's awesome. Thank you, Mary. Because people are happy when they're on the roller Thanks, skates. Guys. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen. Yeah, it's right? hard to be mad. I've never yeah. seen Bad people. Kevin so happy unless with- they fall. Kevin. Uh, I do bust my hands. You have those big socks all the way up. Uh-huh. He's got his got 1970s his quads I do with have, his socks I up do, to his knees. I do have black quads. And just so you know, you should not let your dog drag you on quads down a bumpy street. No oh, way. Because the Gosh. moment you hit the tiniest little pebble in the road, there go your front teeth. It's, it's a, a lot of fun, though. It's yeah. to Steven because it's not a I'm so sick of without talking about the traffic. Of course. <laughs> Steven, hey, welcome to the Golden Ryan Hello. Show. What is it you want to complain hey, about, traffic-wise? Oh, um, just the fact that everybody's always on their phone and not paying attention to the road, mm-hmm. and they're driving a weapon. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've said this you know? over and over again. Yeah. There are There's a great organization, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and absolutely, anybody that gets behind the wheel of a car intoxicated, you should absolutely pay the price. You should be arrested. But I feel the same thing should be held true of people that are on their cell phones and cause accidents because Texting. statistically, it is more dangerous to text and drive than it is to be intoxicated. But yep. yet, why is there not the same kind oh, yeah. of outrage? Whenever yeah. uh, whenever I'm behind someone who's swerving a little bit and I go around them, I always no. look over and yes. they're always on always their, on their phone. phone. In like it's, and it's always. way down there. It's down in their Kevin, lap. I might be know? one of the few people that actually like these people doing this because it gives me a chance to get over in that lane because like, they're, the not red light, they're not paying attention. They're not paying attention. I'm like, oh. I just go right around them. Uh, they'll they'll sit at a green. No, they sit at a green light on their text, and then and well, then, then they, they look go, up. Then the light turns and like turn. yellow and red, and I don't get to go through the intersection because yeah, this jackass has been playing on his phone. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Thank it. you, it thank you so much. For crazy. I think it drives everybody it. nuts. Thanks, man. Till we get Thanks, some laws Steven. about that. Still, there and until there starts to be like a penalty to pay for that, yeah. because I think it's worse if you think about it. Because if you're intoxicated, no, I'm not justifying that, but you're not in your right mind. You're not thinking rational. Mm-hmm. You're under the influence, but <laughs> you are stone cold sober, and you're doing this, and you know you're doing something that is dangerous and that is going to endanger lives. To me, that's even worse. I think Yvonne wants to talk about drivers as well in Houston. Hey, Yvonne, welcome to the Roland Ryan Show. What are you so sick of? Hi, Hi good morning. Good yes, morning. I actually. Uh, I'm going to have to call out my southeast side peeps and Gulf Gate. Uh-oh, what are uh, they doing? They, I don't know how they got a driver's license because <laughs> they cannot drive. Like, no signal. They see you coming and they still pull out. And when they turn, they they turn as slow as molasses. And <laughs> they, run, they run red lights left and right and, like, over there on that side of town, green does not mean go. And I'm just, <laughs> they just they just stop. They just they think green means red. It pretty much. So if you have you're at a green light, don't go because you know you probably get hit. We've only we've already seen almost three accidents from people running red lights because they're probably on their phone or they're not paying attention. Do you give me a, a great idea? If I was a reporter. Like for May sweeps, I would do a like what area of Houston is the worst? Worst for and, traffic. And, I, I and feel like examples. mine is. Everyone, because everyone feels Everybody like feels that way. way. Yeah. You can see how many wrecks are in your area. I'm sure they can pull up that data. When I know I and can they walk can do to the themselves. grocery store faster than drive there, that's when I know traffic is bad. Well, I we have, have a, six million people here. I, my 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 neighborhood is filled with all kinds of different cultures, and I, I sometimes I think that you know if you if you're not used to driving in the United States, then maybe you're a little bit apprehensive, and that's what's going on in my neighborhood. Um, and you know, there's a lot of uh, imports. <laughs> in, import, <laughs> it, there's that's a lot what's of people going on who, in your neighborhood who come from other countries where you're not even allowed to drive. Oh, yeah. So you know, you get your license for the first time here at thirty something years old. It's like I saw some ninety eight <laughs> year old mm-hmm. almost. Like they try to turn and left in front of my car, uh-huh. and I'm like, "Oh God, they're gonna hit me!" But they're so cute, this old lady. Just, I'm like, <laughs> "You're oh. saying it's cute, or she's about to hit you?" I know, but I was like, "Oh, look at her!" Like, there she, absolutely she, should like, be a mandatory candy hair. Just you know, like, no, the glassy, the sunglasses. When your hair becomes translucent, like it looks like a dandelion, at that point, there should be a mandatory. You got to take a driver's test. Somehow, my grandma always got her license. She lived to be 98. And I'm okay, like, if wow. you're 98 I'm like, years old, she went old. to the DMV and they had to do that test like every yeah. year or something. You were the queen's I'm husband. Like, 
He was Al Albert. He got in a car accident. He was like 98 years old. And I was like, wait a second, this guy's still driving an SUV? Yeah, he rolled his, he uh, rolled his ro- Range Rover into... Like, but the, he was just driving around on the grounds of the palace, I think. I don't think he was like out, you know... Uh, uh, well, no, he's not like going to Walmart. London. <laughs> 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 running around for his 